Here's the curls out of the box. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl CJ. It's your girl CJ. Y'all, when I tell you today's install was so quick, I thought I missed the step. Yo, Lisa, yo, Lisa, this wig, 10 out of 10. So if y'all want to see how I install this wig, stay tuned. I'm going to quickly go ahead and box your Lisa hair because that's where today's hair is from. And let's get this party started. This is the hair, how it comes packaged. It says it's HD lace, the lace is undetectable. The cap size is a medium, it's 24 inches and in human hair. Here is the wig. And one thing I love that I'm super excited about, that baby is already styled, okay? It's already curled. So this is how she comes packaged. And if you guys can't see, I'm gonna zoom y'all in. This hairline is eating all the way down. Look at this freaking hairline. Stop playing with your Lissa. Do y'all see how late this is? It's giving scalp out of the box. Y'all just seen me take this out, right? And it's already got a middle part. But up close again, here's the curls out of the box. Y'all see these freaking curls? Y'all see these freaking curls? It's a pretty color though, okay? I ain't gonna lie. Y'all know me and blonde. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Stop playing. Why do I feel like my makeup looks a little orange today? It's probably my stinking camera. I'm still playing around with this camera, so I don't know. It, it might be making me look more orange than I am in person because I promise you I'm not that orange. But look at this hairline, okay? Do y'all not see how good this looks? On me. On me. It's giving scalp. Literally ready to go. I don't need to put no hot comb to it. It's, as you guys can see, it's already laid. <laughs> So this is the inside of the wig, as you guys can see. The full on construction of that wig. I flipped it inside out for y'all. I didn't want to do it, but I got a scent of lace anyway, so that's that on that. Now, if you guys want to wear a glue list, y'all know. Your Lisa came in clutch with the elastic band in the back. The grippy part, this is going to allow it to stay stuck and sturdy. It ain't going to move, ain't going to slide. It's going to stay in place. Taking my Ruby Kisses foundation, y'all know what it is already. This is in the level 12. I am going to take that darker shade that's in here that's almost gone we're gonna take that and i'm gonna put some on this brush and we're gonna tap this all over that lace so yeah just dab that color all over the lace don't miss nothing make sure you get everything one of my subbies asked why don't i use tint and spray anymore no i just need to find my proper shade and i promise you i'll be back using that but normally i don't do my part to the end where i can see it but i can't see the part at all because I don't have a ball cap on, I just have that match cap on. We're gonna take our wax stick, just put a little wax on it like this, because we got some flyaways going on at the top. All right, so. I took the lighter shade and I'm just going to define my part with it. Spray a little bit of hairspray because I still see some flyaways. But like I was saying, if you put cream foundation on the outside of that part, you have to clean it up with a makeup wipe. Alright, so we're just going to clip this back while we cut off the lace for the end y'all see all this room okay i got a lot i probably could have took a small but i got a medium because i love to have more room basically what i'm gonna do is make a part around my ear so we can lay flat because you don't need all that extra lace there okay your wig should not be connecting to your earlobe okay that's not what it's supposed to be doing i could have tightened up the band a little bit i think that's what i'm gonna do so i first start off in the center of my head like this 
I use my finger to push that product up and I like to work in sections because I feel like trying to lay down the hair all at once just be just doing the most to me and it makes it frustrating. So All right, so I like to make sure the section is tacky. Like my fingers get stuck. Y'all see that? It's ready. Pull down the lace and align it with where I place that product. Okay. Everything is sitting, and then you want to use the back of your comb, and you just want to press the lace down into the product. Alright, so we are finished installing. That was rather quick. But um, this is what my hair, like this I eat. So we're going to put on the elastic band. We're going to put this one on first. Okay. We need to brush this out. And we almost done. I'm going to just lightly... I'm just so glad they styled this for me because I ain't nobody, I ain't nobody got time. I'm telling you, boy, I ain't nobody got time to be sitting here trying to. I need to fix my part because what, who, and why? Now we just need a little bumps on the front because I need some volume up in here. It's just too flat for me. Put a little hairspray. All right, what y'all, what y'all thinking? What y'all feeling? But <laughs> y'all stop playing. So this is the color that us brown skin girls need. Y'all see this? But I feel like if this had a little, I feel like they started to curl this one, not as far up as this one. So I have gypsy water and I have Mojave, Mojave, Mojavo. I don't know how to say it, but it'll be in the description. And when I don't want to wear perfume, I always like to spray something in my hair. This one is my favorite. I like the gypsy water, I do, but the Mojave, I love this smell. I don't know, it's something about that one that I love. So I'm gonna spray that. In my hair and it's basically hair perfume but it's perfume you know you can spray any perfume in your hair but that's what i'm gonna end it off with and we done these companies are blowing my mind okay how quick and easy it is for me to install and just head out is ridiculous it should not be this easy but it is and i'm grateful it is so now i forgot to smell it when i took it out of the package y'all know i was rushing but it don't smell like nothing it don't even smell like new hair um so yeah i'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 just because of that just straight out the pack not washed not plucked not bleached now it did do some shedding on me so there you probably can't see because it is blonde brown but just it was just a little bit it wasn't even that much i don't know if you can see so when it comes down to washing and conditioning it please be sure to get shampoo conditioner that is for color treated hair don't get regular shampoo you try to ruin your wig i ain't had no tangling this is like i said the first install so of course you're not gonna get much tangling this just came out the box i'm obsessed with this unit like i said i give it a 10 out of 10 they coming with it this year. I hope you guys enjoyed today's install. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. All information in regards to this unit will be listed down in the description section below. And until my next video, your girl will see you later. Bye, guys.